Hi, my name is David Rosales. I'm the pastor of Calvary Chapel of the Chino Valley, California. We Americans are living in a very strange season. Rioters and looters are being seen as modern revolutionaries and patriots, while law enforcement officers are portrayed as criminals worthy of hatred. There are those who appear to think that the death of George Floyd was so unjust and made them so sad that it became a good reason to break into a store and steal a 70-inch television. Others seem to think that his death was a good reason for them to kill or assault people trying to protect their personal property from vandalism or burglary. While all of this went on, mayors ordered police to stand down, allowing mobs to rule the streets, vandalize cars, spray paint walls, take over buildings. In Seattle, so-called protesters are occupying six city blocks, calling it an autonomous zone. This simply means that they have declared that they're not subject to the police. I wonder who they truly are subject to. If they can't control themselves, I doubt that they'll be able to control anybody else. In the midst of this, some are calling for the defunding of the police in their cities. LA has begun doing so because by defunding the LA Police Department, they're able to fix the problems in Minneapolis. What a brilliant idea. The city is so clean and peaceful. Who needs police protection anyway? If somebody decides to break into my house, I'll just step out of the way and let them. Who needs the police? After all, people are really good. All I need to do is let them do whatever they want. They won't hurt me or my family, or will they? Perhaps I'm just old, perhaps I'm naive, but doesn't this strike you as insane? Spineless politicians, seeing this as an opportunity to grab power, have lined up in favor of anarchists, and we don't even blink. It seems obvious that America is being set up for a takeover, but many don't see it. One problem after another, whether it's a bogus impeachment trial, pandemic, simple race baiting, it's all sufficient to escalate fear and anger. I wonder which party benefits from this. It's interesting how the news stopped reporting on the coronavirus and suddenly the virus was no longer a problem. Apparently riots renamed protests are more interesting and effective. Whatever disturbs people becomes the most important news. I expect the world of non-Christians to react in the ways that we've seen. What grieves me is observing how many professing Christians have been so easily deceived. Look around you. Is your neighborhood relatively peaceful? Why is that? Could it be because you have a police force that is patrolling, making it safe for you and your family? I, for one, appreciate the police. I have police officers as dear friends and even family members. I'm not afraid of the police though at one time I was. In my case, it was because I broke the law quite often and I feared being caught. When I became a Christian, I no longer feared the police because as Paul told the Romans, rulers are not a terror to good works, but to evil. I started obeying the law. My fear went away. No, I'm not saying all police and law enforcement are good. Of course, not all are. What I'm saying is that instead of hating them, we ought to pray for them and encourage them. They work a thankless job. Many treat them like dirt, and this isn't right. Instead of hating them, if you have a chance, take a moment and thank them. They need our support now more than ever. It wasn't that long ago that we as a nation celebrated their selfless acts of heroism when they gave up their lives to save others on 911. Perhaps we need to pray for them more often and to appreciate them for what they do. Yes, we need good training and where necessary, police reform. But the fact is most cops are hardworking and sacrificial and instead of turning on them, we, sh we should be praying for them and we should appreciate them. We might wanna remember what George Orwell once, once wrote. He said, people sleep peaceably in their beds at night only because rough men stand ready to do violence on their behalf. As a pastor, it's my calling to encourage everyone to come to faith in Jesus. He works to change lives. The more followers of Jesus, the less crime. The more law enforcement officers who are saved, the better the cop. For those of you who disagree, next time you're afraid and need emergency assistance, ask someone on the street to help you instead of a cop. <laughs> Let's see what happens. This is David Rosales, pastor of Calvary Chapel of the Chino Valley, California.